what's up guys it's been a while it's been about a week um, um, I haven't really sculpted that much uh, the idea has solidified a little bit since you last saw it um, I went ahead and sculpted a, uh, the next level of detail and I retopologized it and yeah I'm just finalizing uh, my idea on it now um, I'm just gonna compact some memory that'll do and I'm not using my picture reference anymore don't really need it um, just working from my head this pin it see what I get out of that um, shit yeah I don't know I just I mean, his head's really starting to take some shape now. I started, you know, adding in bits of detail and stuff here and there. Uh, I'm just trying to think about, you know, what kind of uh, material, well, not material, but I don't know, the structure of his skin and stuff. It's going to be very, very zombie like, uh, you know, with all this ripped skin and whatnot. Yeah, but I don't know, the idea has solidified. Um, you know, the muscle groups are more defined. And, these big lats and you know triple shoulder things coming through. The forearms are a bit weird, but because I've got the uh, the wristband on there, it kind of just makes it look okay. So I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, I also separated his leg uh, like I did on the uh, the scrab. It just made it a lot easier to play around with the uh, the actual connection between the uh, the hip uh, and this lower body. You know, yeah, I can really sort of move and be very free with that but yeah this is a retopologized version uh, you can see the polyframe is um, ah, so I've got the eyes selected the uh, the polyframe is you know it's a better it's nice nice flow it's probably gonna make quite a nice uh, low res as well so yeah I'm just gonna sculpt a little bit for you today and see what gains I can make on this I'm gonna do some of this lower body right now And I've been using just a uh, clay build up with uh, Alpha 12 here. We just make sure that's the fullest subdivision. Yep. Cool. And I'm just going to like play around with different ideas and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It's like it's working in the other direction. <laughs> That was strange. It was like using Z sub, uh, and it's now doing it again. Okay. Um. Okay. Just gonna restart zero. Sorry about this. There's always a problem. <laughs> but yeah, as you know, um, like I don't know, like two months ago or like maybe a month back, I got like really depressed and um, I lost quite a bit of weight. So I've been focusing recently, get on my uh, like my diet and my gym routine back into a sort of action, and it's going pretty well. Yeah, uh, I'm doing like a, a four or five day split with my friend. Um, but the main part of it is that my diet is like really strict right now um, like it's probably the best diet I've ever had in my life um, like, like my breakfast consists of like uh, I have like free scrambled and I have um, either like four slices of bacon or a tuna sandwich um, and after that I'd have the protein shake and then I would have like a, a bowl of fruit and that's just the breakfast you know so I'm trying to take my diet like as seriously as possible <laughs> and it's really helping yeah I put on like like what like five pounds of muscle well maybe not muscle but I put on five pounds that'd be ridiculous <laughs> I put on about five pounds in about a month so 
for me, you know, my metabolism is like crazy as shit. So yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna stick with this diet I've got now, and it's gotten it's gotten to the point where it's like really part of my routine. So I, I just like effortless to do it now. So I'm quite pleased with that, uh, and I can really start to. I don't know, get my life back on track, I guess. You know, this sculpting and stuff. Try and finish off my portfolio as quick as possible and then see if I uh, can get a job in the industry, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, but you know, I'm just literally just like brushing around and just trying to pick out like areas of interest, you know. When you're doing like really intricate skin detail, you know, you don't, you know, in my case, I don't really pay like that much attention to what I'm doing, you know. I just literally just like trying to make it interesting. As long as you've got like a good base, you know, like the actual anatomy is kind of figured out then you're, you're pretty good just gotta make it all like detail and like all interconnecting somehow but I've been doing this for a while you know like f I know kind of like certain things that look cool and my my brain just seems to be able to just sculpt like this so it's like part of the process Trying to make these abs look like they are um, really sort of you know rock hard and you know the this skin isn't like all crazily wrapped around it and stuff you know it's like they're really like being pushed through a lot because they're made out of muscle. Probably a bit. And most of the time, it's just about extreme. It is, you know, if if something's being pushed in, and then pull something out right next to it, and yeah, it's just the illusion of depth, I guess. I mean, yeah, there's infinite amount of possibilities you can make skin look like it's all disgusting but this is just what I've figured out and what I guess works for me I, it seems pretty unique you know I don't see a lot of people sculpting this way so yeah it's looking pretty gruesome Now, I was considering sculpting um, Snubble as well, do you know, like uh, the Pokemon before Gramble, you know, it's what Gramble evolves from. And, you know, I had the notion of this scene, like, I don't know, treating them like they were brothers. And, you know, I was just all, I guess I was kind of like thinking about Full Metal Alchemist, you know, and the, uh, the relationship between uh, Edward and Alphonse. Uh, and, I don't know, it's just. I think brotherly love is like probably the most beautiful form of, of some of the uh, male bonding, you know. Yeah, it's just pretty nice sentiment, but um, I had the other idea as well of like Grand Bull being stood in like a Pokemon Center and it was all sort of trashed and, uh, you know, like the uh, the Pokemon nurse or whatever they're called. <laughs> It's just all like, you know, just manked and just like, yeah, just like grumbles, just eating her face or whatever. And I, don't know, I think that's pretty cool. For the Z bush pose, I'm going to have Grumble, um like crushing a Pokeball in his claw. And it's going to be all sort of like bits of Pokeball just like in midair. So it's like it's one of those like cool action shots. I think that looked pretty rad. And then for the uh, the UDK thing, I'm probably going to do that Pokemon Center thing because I think that's, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those things that people can uh, relate to. You know, like they know it's a Pokemon, 
and then they'll slowly like, hang on a minute, I know what this is, it's Grumble. So I think that'll work pretty well. But this is pretty much all I've got to do at this point, you know, just figure out these different specific areas of his anatomy and make them nice and gruesome. Probably going to go up another subdivision level after this, but I'll literally just be refining whatever it is I've done on this level. As you know, I can get quite a decent amount of fidelity of this current level. But I need to think about the uh, the wristband as well and the the collar. Cause as I was mentioned in uh, the last video, I was uh, considering the possibility of making it uh, the like some sort of muscle enhancing kind of equipment that he's got attached to his body, and having all these sort of like tubes, like well, there's maybe like a one two, like being pressed into his body, uh, probably like on his forearm for the wristband and lower back or upper back for you know the the collar I just think that look really brutal but I'm really like skeptical to do it because I've done that sort of thing in the past on a lot of models and they just look really goofy but to be honest with you the idea of those models anyway was like really goofy anyway so because the idea of Gramble and the actual anatomy of him looks you know it's okay and stuff it might work so yeah, I'll probably try that out in the next video when I've got most of his body done and the details are quite finalised and stuff. So I need to do a spot up hard surface sculpting as well, which is going to be interesting. Probably going to have to watch a uh, training video to re-familiarise my, myself with the tools and workflow. As I haven't done hard, uh, hard surface in Zebras for a while now. Yeah, I never really did it anyway to be honest with you. It was a very brief very brief sort of exploration of it. So definitely worth having. Hard surface um features on characters are always very impressive, so let's get this sort of like edge I sculpted it earlier on. But you know, the aim for this grand bull character was to make him very, very bulky, you know, like bulldog. As that's clearly what he's based off of. And when you look at a bulldog, you know, they're just like little stocky creatures. <laughs> you know, there's not much to them at all. They're just like, I don't know, all their limbs and features are very stumpy and stuff, so. Yeah, it's carrying on that theme. Thinking about like making that stepped surface, kind of like I had of the scrub, you know, of his back and stuff. I thought that was pretty awesome. I'm so tempted to sing along right now. <laughs> I downloaded this band called uh, Closer or Close to Home, and it's like really upbeat, kind of like rock. You know, not my usual bag, but I don't know. It's just so cheerful and nice to work to. You know. But I'm not gonna say we'll probably die from embarrassment. It's 
it's looking pretty cool. Not quite sure what was going on with his hip section here. Just gonna pull in his leg so I can sort of, you know, compare like what it's gonna look like. Yeah, this this hip shape was kind of random because um, I, I really didn't know how to connect the legs, you know, without sacrificing uh, the ability to pose him dynamically, you know, as the uh, the actual drawing of Gramble on the Pokemon artwork, he has uh, like a lot of fat around the area and. You know, you just wouldn't be able to move the leg out as much, you know, it being all like concealed by this fat, so that's why I separated it so I can have a lot of freedom with the leg. Uh, but now I'm just like trying to figure out what exactly this bit here is. As it's really weird and it doesn't make any anatomical sense. <laughs> Uh, I suppose as long as it looks interesting and it sort of fits into the uh, rest of it, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, if I end up having like pipes and stuff hanging out in this little leg like, section here, it won't even. Yeah, it'll just look completely normal. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Trying to think of like the lines. Probably tweak that later on with the move tool. And then we'll have this kind of overlapping in. I can't believe how awesome Alpha 14 is, I think, was it? Alpha 12. It's just so nice for doing this sort of detail. It's so effortless, you know. Especially like the big and small versions of the brushes, you know, it's just like you can really get in those chunky sort of pieces of mass that you need. It's awesome. If I was using the uh, the square alpha, which is what I normally would use, you know, it leaves so many problems behind that you have to always, always sort of compensate for. Um, with this brush, it just looks fine because the uh, the actual edges of the brush are all smooth and round, and it just gives the illusion of flesh, which is awesome. So it's looking a bit crazy down here. Maybe that's his dick that comes out. <laughs> I never pay much too much attention to the underside of creatures. You know, as long as they don't look absolutely crazy and oh, like neglected, it, it, you know, you can usually get away with it. Like, hey, it looks fine. Let me just come in with move two a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. This bit here is going to probably cover it up anyway.
Uh, it's a lot of the same really, not much I can comment on. You've just gotta figure out some sort of detail pattern that you like and then you just replicate it across the entire model. But you know, I've like I've said before, you know, this idea of like ripped skin and boiled skin has always been very uh I don't know, like I just love how intricate it is and there's no real reason for it at all. You know, it makes absolutely no sense. But, you know, it looks cool, <laughs> in my opinion. And if something looks cool, then it works. So, you know, you don't have to make all your characters look all crazy and, like, zombie and shit. Just literally find something that you think looks cool and just practice it, you know, figure out what works best, what brushes complement what you're doing, and then just literally just get an idea and just sculpt away. You'll probably make some really goofy looking shit to begin with, but you will improve eventually. I mean I'm no I'm no like epic master at this at all, you know, I'm still a novice in my opinion, so but I have it improved considerably, you know, over these like, past few months, I guess. Um, I've noticed that I can, just, I don't know, I just I can figure things out a lot quicker than I used to be able to. Um, my idea of scaled details a lot better, meaning that when I zoom out, you know, I haven't added in such tiny amounts of detail that they become literally just a pixel on the screen. I used to like over detail stuff. Like to the point where it would take me like literally hours and hours doing one specific area. Whereas it doesn't really need to be that detailed, you know, you just it needs to have a clear indication of what it is and you know, the forms need to be described uh quite boldly, I think, in order to work. Uh and I've I've seemed to have gotten a bit better at doing that, so yeah, if you start making some kind of weird stuff, just you know, just keep practicing, man. It takes a while to get used to sculpting and the whole feel of the brushes and the Wacom tablet and all the rest of it. Uh, this bit, I'm just, literally, I have no idea what I'm doing on this bit. I'm just brushing, sketching, whatever you want to call it. Pull this tail out a little bit. Create a more pointy edge. <laughs> I was actually thinking as well, do you know the uh I think it was on I I forgot which Hulk film it was, but the uh, the Hulk film with Abomination on. Uh and the vertebrae down its spine on the Abomination looks awesome. So I was considering adding some of that to this character as well. Mainly probably on his upper back, you know, so it's like spiking down a little bit and then probably not so much on his tail. Uh I don't know, I think it looked really cool with some really like predominant vertebrae coming out of it. Uh, especially if I uh, optimize optimize, especially if I uh, just go for the uh you know, the the tubes coming out of his collar and stuff. Yeah, I think that looked really cool. Definitely add some element to it anyway, like yeah. Da, 
Alright. Alright, it's pretty much his underside done. Do as much as I need it to be anyway at this stage. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's probably a bit hard to see with this one. It's just very nice with sculpting with um Not sure about these eyes yet. They look a bit weird. I don't think they look badass enough. I need to sort of figure out a little bit what I want to do with these eyes, but they look okay. The detail, I like. I like the uh, decaying detail around the bottom of them there. The yeah, eyelids look pretty cool, look nice and tight. Uh, yeah, I just need to do his back a little bit, sculpting this chest area, and then I probably figure out his ears. I want to make them kind of like worn away on the ends. It's gonna be interesting to do that. Don't know how. Probably using clipping brush or something. It's just very thin there. I need to sort his fingers out, and then I need to figure out his wristband, which is gonna be extremely weird. As you can, I was messing around in Maya, but you know, I was just thinking about if I wanted to make it look like it was two plates like pressed together or something uh, but the idea what I had about the tube was either like so on the actual grandma model he has like these circle things here and here and I was gonna have like um, an L-shaped connector coming out and this tube like I think his forearm's too small to do it though unless it was kind of a big tube and it like could look cool stuck into here if I, you know, dug out a little recess, and this tube was coming out. But I'm not sure. It may look a bit weird, but I think it would look pretty brutal. Uh, and obviously, he's got this big collar that I haven't put in yet. Um, and I was thinking about having, because he also the tubes are on the side as well, so maybe sort of coming back here. That might look pretty cool. That could be a good area for a recess. Where these tubes come into. Or maybe, I don't know, like down here, but I have to think about animation purposes as well. Um, that look cool actually coming into his ear, you know, give it that extra bit of silhouette and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to try all sorts of things out with that. But yeah, this is pretty much where Gramble is. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer, I must say. Um, yeah. I probably won't do a snu uh, snubble. It'll just be Grambo crushing a Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty short video. I, I haven't really got much to show, basically. That's just, this is pretty much it, you know. Just get uh, some fangs in there. Yeah, I'm going to go and continue this now. Half an hour. This is probably the shortest video I've ever done, but yeah. I've said everything I needed to say, so yeah, in a bit.